it was knowing that my father was a doctor. I hardly knew my father because he went away in the war shortly after I was born, but I knew he was a doctor, I knew what doctors did, um, and I must have been the first thing I ever uh, said was that I'm going to be a doctor. <clears throat> and when I went to my first school um, at the age of four, um, I announced that I was going to be a doctor and from then on I was known in that school as the doctor. Um, and my father was a doctor, my grandfather was a doctor, my great-grandfather was a doctor, so the family tradition was very strong. But no one ever put any pressure on me to be a doctor, it's just something I did. And in fact, in retrospect, it was the only job I knew. I didn't know there was any other job. My mother had been a nurse, but she was a housewife all the time I knew her. So that's why I became a doctor. Never regretted it. I, I went to university, Cambridge, for the preclinical work and then to Liverpool for the clinical three years. Um, and one particular episode was a lecture by a professor of medicine who was Lord Cohen, a very distinguished man. Um, and he, in this lecture, referred to a book that had just been published that year or the year before by René Dubot, who, who was a famous philosopher of science a microbiologist, soil microbiologist, um, and he referred to this book, The Mirage of Health, and he recommended that we read it. Now, uh, we, we weren't a, a terribly academic group of people in Liverpool Medical School, but for some reason I went and got this book that week in the local bookshop and read it. Um, and it, it opened my eyes to man's place in the environment of the planet. Um, and it's something that influenced me more than I can say, really. That everything I've thought about in medicine ever since has, has been derived from an understanding of man's place in the environment of the planet. And it's led to all sorts of good research ideas over the years.